Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing a deadlift focus day. So Mondays for me traditionally have always been kind of a squat day. Uh, way, way back in the day, of course, it was International Chest Day. But when I got super serious in the strength training, I switched that to squat. Now for this last probably eight weeks or so, um, I have been doing a lot more deadlift focus, mainly just because in the sport of strongman, deadlift is something that as far as like a static strength number, I've always struggled with. Um, I've always been behind everybody else in my weight class. So in order to prioritize that and really let my body have the greatest amount of recovery prior to hitting my deadlift focus, I chose to implement that on a Monday. The point of this video though is to show how I am implementing flywheel training into my daily programming. Now, I am not an advocate for completely replacing barbell training with a flywheel trainer. However, I do think that flywheel training has the potential to offer a lot more, especially in terms of hypertrophy and also uh, like that kinesthetic awareness, uh, that control over where body positioning is, mainly just because of the fact that during the eccentric portion of the lift, if you're using a barbell, you're just fighting against gravity um, versus in flywheel training where you're actually fighting against inertia. So one of the biggest things with uh, training at home is I like to save the time. So I just finished my first set of three at this uh, deadlift. Might go up a little bit in weight. We'll kind of see how I feel at the end of my second set. Um, but I like to use this in between time. Instead of just scrolling, I'll listen to a podcast. So today's Massonomics because it is Monday. And I'm going to get the safety squat bar, my transformer bar rather, set up in the rack so that I can just roll straight into my transformer bar squats after my deadlift. The nice part about flywheel training is just how fast everything can be changed. So I started doing pull-throughs with the uh, redirect point on the floor. Um, I didn't like how it felt. Also, the range of motion was a little bit less. So I was able to switch it uh, essentially mid-set, waiting for the flywheel to stop. And uh, now what I'm gonna do is I'm basically gonna be moving the redirect down to the floor for my set of squats. Now, something that I really appreciate about the uh, Quest Station is that the strap here is actually numbered. Now, how this is gonna stand up over time, I'm not quite sure yet. Um, I'm hoping it lasts for a while, um, but essentially I know from doing this last time that I need my belt at about 87. Uh, that gets me to about the perfect range of motion with the belt set up that way.
All right, so that's been it for this training vlog. Um, so that's my Monday in the books. Again, started with some plyometric, with some jumping, really trying to focus on a, uh, consistently getting those plyometric sessions in and putting them in early right after my warm up as uh, a priority, uh, trying to build those fast switch muscle fibers, a little bit of athleticism, um, severely underrated. Uh, as for everything else, some deadlift. Deadlift went really well. Used some heavier bands. Uh, got up my PR platform to do those banded deadlifts. Moved on to my front squats on the transformer bar. And then pretty much the rest of it was right over here on the Kratos Quest. I gotta tell you that I don't know if it comes through in the videos, but these movements, especially if you're focused on controlling that eccentric, which is the whole point of the Kratos Quest, it's actually pretty tough. Um, very underrated as far as I'm concerned. Uh, flywheel training is pretty amazing at building the hypertrophy. And uh, I gotta say that if I gotta call one out, those hamstring curls were brutal, um, absolutely brutal. Uh, probably the best hamstring curl setup that I've ever had. Uh, definitely in my home gym, maybe ever. But that's been it for this video. Appreciate each and every single one of you that watch every week. And remember, when it comes to your training, you should always keep it better awesome. And of course, badass. See you next time.